Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we'll talk about Obsidian Task Calendar. If you are using Obsidian Tasks in order to manage your task in Obsidian or you are using Obsidian as a task manager by the help of the community plugin called Obsidian Tasks, then this video is going to be very helpful because you will be able to visualize or view all of your tasks in a calendar format or calendar view just like your Google Calendar or any other calendar app that you might be using. So you will be easily able to get a view that looks something like this, this, this or something like this. So let me begin the video without any delay and let me go to my Obsidian vault. This is the template vault that I have created for you guys. You can download it from the link in the description. This template vault shows the execution or workflow for tasks and meeting currently but more workflows will be added into this template vault. But for now I have just added the workflow for tasks and meetings which you might want to switch from here and there are some other workflow as well but let's not talk about that here so let me go to my monthly calendar view and show you how this looks like so this is the monthly calendar view and you can also switch to the weekly calendar view and this is how your weekly calendar looks like and i have not added a lot of tasks here because this is the template vault and you can also switch to different view in the weekly calendar but the monthly calendar only has one view and you can also you can see you can scroll through the date and see all the tasks that are on that particular day today is 5th december and you can see the tasks on the 5th december you can easily visualize all of your future tasks as well as your past tasks right in the calendar view so this is all about the monthly view and weekly view and you can see all the status of your tasks like done there are three tasks done out of 11 tasks due tasks six overdue two something like that and you can see you can also see the week number and in the monthly view you can see the month in the background and also the week numbers on the vertical side so this is all about the monthly calendar and weekly calendar but let me show you how you can do that how you can achieve this this is achieved by using data view query and absolutely the obsidian tasks plugin which is used for adding task and other properties to the task and the data view query that is used here is the this one i will write it down in the description of this video so that you can just copy it from there and what you need after writing this data view query is two files that are called view.css and view.javascript file. You can either download them from this GitHub repository, which is here for the Obsidian task calendar. You can download it from here, download it as zip and copy the task calendar folder into your Obsidian vault. And then you can start using that data view query. Or you can just download this template vault and copy this task calendar folder from here. The template vault and copy it to your vault and then start using the data view query that is written on the monthly calendar view you can see monthly calendar and we also have the week calendar which are created in different nodes so that you can easily separate monthly calendar and weekly calendar we don't have to switch in between one and the other so this is the simple example of how you can visualize your tasks or or view your tasks that are created in obsidian with the help of task plugin by using the data view query and these two files that are a view.javascript file and view.css file that are created by the author i don't know who he is but that's a great job done this is really helpful for people who are using obsidian as a task manager if you want me to come up with a video explaining how you can start using obsidian as a task manager or how i use obsidian as a task manager then don't forget to comment down this is it for today's video i hope you found the video helpful and if you found the video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with more obsidian related content in the future thank you for watching have a great time